Hi, I'm Angelina Gedalia, the Vice President of the Frederick Chopin Society of Connecticut. And it is my great pleasure to welcome you today to a very special program with the brilliant pianist Renana Gutman. Uh, a native of Israel, Renana has performed across four continents at um, great venues like the Louvre Museum in France, Carnegie Recital Hall, uh, the St. Petersburg Philharmonia in Russia, as well as at the National Gallery and Phillips Collection in DC. Her performances are frequently heard on WQXR, um, Showcase in New York, WFMT in Chicago, as well as NPR and Performances Today in Minnesota. Uh, Renana is a top prize winner at the Los Angeles List Competition, and she um, also won prizes at the International Keyboard Festival in New York, as well as at the Telhai International Master Classes. She has premiered um, many newly commissioned works by composers like Paul Schoenfield, uh, Judith Zaymont, and is also a member of Echoes of Hope, uh, which is a project that she has been dedicated to. And she has also performed uh, many obscure works by Jewish composers who perished in the Holocaust, such as Erwin Schulhoff, whom you will hear today, as, as well as Victor Ullman and others. Renana joined the piano faculty at the Boston Longy School of Music of Bard College uh, this past year, and she has also served on the piano faculty of the Yehudi Menuhin Music School in London. Uh, Renana has been um, a, a great friend. It's been very exciting to follow her career over the past 15 years, and um, I also wanted to mention that she uh, pursues her passion for the Argentinian tango as a wonderful dancer um, as well as poet. And uh, before I um, let her take the stage, I wanted to thank um, the, our partners this season, the New Britain Museum of American Art, as well as the Elzbeta and David Grof Private Foundation, and also um, Huge thanks to all of the sponsors and supporters of the Polish American Foundation of Connecticut, who have made this uh, all of these events possible this season. If you would like information about our upcoming concerts, uh, please feel free to send us your email through this chat in Zoom. Uh, and, and if any comments that you would like to leave for our pianist, Renana Gutman, through uh, the chat today will also be shared with her. Uh, lastly, I would like to invite you to join us for our spring events, which will happen on March 28th, April 24th, and May 23rd. Our next concert will happen on March 28th and will feature Chopin's chamber music, um, <clears throat> his piano trio, as well as cello sonata, <clears throat> and will have me at the piano, along with a wonderful Hart School of Music faculty, uh, violinist Anton Miller and cellist Mihai Tetel. 
And now please give a very warm virtual welcome to our pianist, Renana Gutman. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Angelina and the Chopin Society for this invitation. Uh, I'm thrilled to be able to do this. I haven't performed in half a year. And uh, it's um, very special. As everybody can see, I'm not exactly in a concert hall and not in a museum, but uh, with uh, all these uh, technical challenges still, I think um, it's uh, special that I can invite you to my little shed where I uh, work, where is um, my uh, music laboratory located. Um, so Angelina already said that I was um, dancing Argentinian tango and that was before the pandemic. And I must say that one of the things that I miss the most during the pandemic is being able to dance. And so I thought uh, at least today we could dance in the imagination and um, um, be wild with all kinds of choreography, visiting the different countries, the different uh, ethnicities um, that we, uh, we are going to experience where we, when we travel geographically, um, the different kinds of dances that you're going to hear. Um, and uh, of course, uh, Chopin has uh, these uh, two, two special qualities that I find are the most essential to music. It's uh, the combination of song and dance, uh, which I find to be the most uh, instinctive uh, ways of expression for, for a human being. Um, and as always, uh, Chopin inspires me to, to, build, uh, to build a program. This time I, I thought I will pair uh, Chopin with the, the young composer who is highly influenced by him. Even though she died when she was 14, she was a pianist uh, child prodigy, a Polish girl, and uh, it will be clear when you hear her pieces that she had uh, grown up hearing his music and growing up with the Polish dances. Um, I, normally Chopin Mazurkas come in sets of fours, many, many of his opuses come in sets of fours. Somehow I uh, decided from the third mazurka, since it reminded me of Josim of Felchuk's mazurka, uh, that from the third mazurka on I will make a transition to her pieces. Uh, and then I will find my way back to Chopin in a way that seemed really fitting uh, to uh, the last piece I will play by her, which is called a Sabatiada. Now, I never heard of Sabatiada before, um, and I came to realize that the word Sabatiada is simply from the word Shabbat, Sabbath. Uh, also, I think you will be able to detect quite easily that it's highly influenced by the Jewish chants and by um, harmonies and sounds uh, from Jewish uh, cultural life. Um, the middle of the program has uh, one of my uh, favorite pieces, a piece that um, I especially grew to love because I heard my, my uh, amazing teacher, uh, Richard Good, play it time and time again. Um, I think it's a rare combination of fantasy and reality, and it uh, combines two uh, very um, spiritual ideas. Uh, the idea of life and death and fantasy and reality in a really, really imaginative, rare uh, combination of uh, the dance and the fantasy with the Polonaise always prevailing, always interrupting this fantasy world as if saying, oh, I choose uh, life over death or life over even the afterlife. Uh, Chopin wrote it, I think, uh, in the last year of his life. It's his last major work. Uh, and again, I thought it was especially a um, nice combination with uh, Josi Mafelchu, who died so young, and uh, we can celebrate her life instead of her death. The second part of the program uh, will be completely different. I uh, will start with the, um, uh, evenings in uh, Granada, Spain, by Debussy. I thought it would be nice to give some kind of a Latin taste flavor to the program at this part. And the other reason I really wanted to incorporate the BC in the program is that uh, Schulhoff, even though he studied with uh, Arnold Schoenberg formerly, uh, he also took some lessons with WC and spent time in Paris um, around the time that jazz was very, very um, 
how can I say, very, very popular at the time, ever growing, ever developing. And um, with the ragtime or the cakewalk of the BC, I thought it would connect quite well and give everybody a nice transition to the world of Schulhof. Uh, Schulhof um, was a very, very established uh, pianist and composer. He used to tour with a jazz band. He used to compose pieces for orchestra, for strings. Uh, his uh, style as a composer is very, very varied. Uh, last uh, few years, I, I became in love with his piano writing. It's really not simple, but um, I, I find it absolutely exceptional, uh, exceptional pianistically and compositionally. And I just wanted uh, the music to be played more because it's really, really fun to play. Um, the rhythms of jazz and these particular dances were quite new to me. Uh, it's uh, uh, outside the comfort zone. And uh, I wanted to give special thanks to my colleague and dear friend, Aaron Deal, uh, an incredible jazz pianist who always inspires me. And uh, thank you, Aaron, for your help with these pieces. So I think we are ready. <laughs>
sure I'm heard. Thank you. 
thank you everybody for joining me today. This is uh, the end of the program. I hope you enjoyed, especially the last portion. Uh, I know I did. Um, please check out more music by Shulho. And uh, thanks so much for joining me today for this uh, new raw program. Thank you.